Speaker, I second the bill moved by the member for Kennedy because I agree very strongly with the member for Kennedy that no Australian security data should be in the custody of any foreign owned company. This isn't about any one particular country. This is about all countries other than our own. And no uh, defence and other security data should be in their possession, should be in our possession. Now, Deputy Speaker, I've spoken in some detail about this matter previously, quite recently, and I made a number of points, and in ever so brief, I'll make those points again. For Australian defence data to be in the custody of a foreign owned company is an affront to our national security. Yeah, yeah. It's an affront to our sovereignty. Yeah, yeah. It's an affront to Australian companies and Australian jobs. Now, I do note the Assistant Minister of Defence came into this place recently and defended the government's uh, uh, continuing with a foreign-owned company keeping our defence data. Now, I have enormous respect for the Assistant Minister for Defence, and I thought he did a pretty good, pretty good job of defending the government's position. The problem is what he said is completely and utterly out of step with community expectations. And at the end of the day, we are hired to represent the community. We've got a three-year contract to represent the community, and it does not represent the community to allow a foreign-owned company to have in their custody our defence data. As the member for Kennedy and I have often remarked, you can't make this stuff up. It's just an absurdity. You can't make it up that we've got a foreign-owned company storing our defence data. It must stop. And the member for Kennedy's bill would, would ensure that. And I call on the government and the opposition to support this bill.